Hey guys, so I just want to do a quick video tonight because I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded and it's probably going to be another little while before I upload again. Just, you know, work schedule and project schedule don't, doesn't always line up. Uh, anyway, I want to do a quick one. I want to talk about some batteries. And trust me, it is going to be a quick one because otherwise I can go on and on about batteries all night. So if you use AA batteries in your Game Boy or whatever the hell device you use, uh, you're probably aware that they make rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries. And uh, if you use double A's, this is definitely the way to go. These work in just about anything that takes double A's. They are slightly lower voltage. Your regular alkaline double A battery is 1.5 volt, whereas this is 1.2 volts. Um, but like I said, most everything that's designed for double A's Will, is also compatible with these. Uh, this is particularly particularly true with Game Boys. Uh, but one thing that I'm not really happy with, uh, especially with these batteries here, is the uh, casing, I guess. The little protective cover. I don't know how well you can see on camera, but up in here near the top, it's starting to kind of get chewed up and start flaking off. So I want to try fixing that. Uh, another thing, uh, these are, well, this is just one battery, but I have another one that looks just like it. These look kind of similar to some of my regular alkaline batteries, and I actually used to have another set that I use that aren't my IKEA batteries uh, that I actually want to do this project for in particular because they look just like my alkaline batteries, but I can't find them anymore. I think I might have accidentally thrown them out. Uh, but. Just for an example, this is, of course it's Rayovac, I mean if you look at the logo it's big, it's different, but compared to my Energizer ones, you know, they're both silver, shiny, and green. You know, at a glance they look pretty similar, and these are just regular alkaline batteries, these aren't rechargeable, so these are garbage when they're dead. These get thrown on the charger when they're dead. Um, oh, but yeah, just as an example, these are my AAA Duracell rechargeables. You can see they still have the same copper top, but they also have this little green near the bottom, whereas regular Duracells are just the copper top and the black. So you can see how one might make that mistake if you're not paying enough attention. Uh, fortunately, if you're familiar with 18650s, you know that these come in various different colors, and, and you can get different wraps for these. Uh, fun fact, these are actually called 18650 because of the size of the cell. Like most lithium batteries, they're named after the actual size. So 650, because it's 65 millimeters long, give or take. Of course, this has some tape on it, so I don't just short it out when I do that. But And 18, because guess how wide it is? 18 millimeters. Uh, so, yeah point is, uh, they do make wraps that you can get, and uh, this stuff just comes in the roll. I'll post what I use in the description, but you can just get this stuff on AliExpress, dirt cheap. It's probably only a couple bucks. Uh, this stuff is sized for the 18650, so I won't be using this white stuff. But I do have this black stuff that, turns out, is actually sized for AA batteries. Uh, but one thing you want to do, you do want to re finish removing this protective layer here, but instead of sitting here and doing that for five minutes, I've already done that on one of my batteries, so we'll be using this one here. And this is just the other Rayovac cell. There is a little, I guess, insulator thing that goes on the top there. You don't need it, but try and hang on to it, because it does look better with it. And I have already cut off a strip that I'm going to try using. I have no idea how long it's supposed to be, but my method for cutting off a strip, since it came in a roll, was I lined up the top with the uh, button there. So, you know what? Let's give some actual measurements. How's about that? So, what uh, about two millimeters from the top so I cut the entire length of the battery plus two millimeters on the top and plus two millimeters on the bottom so 
four millimeters in total. Once you've got that protective layer stripped off, uh, I went ahead and cleaned up the remaining adhesive on my battery with some uh, isopropyl alcohol. Not strictly necessary, but I suppose it should make this a bit easier. Then it'll slip right in. And you want to do your best to center it. And don't forget this part. It'll fall out on you. And this is basically heat shrink tubing. So I'm going to be using some heat to shrink it. And in my case, I'm just going to use my uh, heat gun here. Uh, this is super overkill for this, but if I put it on low and hold it far enough away, it should work fine. Uh, so I'm just going to clear my workspace a little. Do this backwards here. And on low, see how this works. Oh, shit. I lost my little thingy. Oops. Oh, well, I'll redo this one. And that's about how far I'm holding it away. Good enough, didn't melt anything, and oh, that's a feature by the way, because it's the McWill mod, but uh, there we go, still works just fine, and quite frankly I think that looks a lot better than that, and uh, I, I did also get some clear stuff. I figure this might be useful if you want to like draw on the battery with Sharpie to label it or something. Um, or you can even print out an actual label to put under this stuff. But, I don't know. I think this is good. I think it looks a lot better than that. And now these are definitely visually distinctive. So, I call that a mission, mission accomplished. Uh, only downside is I'm going to have to try and peel this... Well, that's not going to come up. I'm going to have to redo this wrap to put the little insulator thing in, but I got plenty of it, so I think it'll be fine. But yeah, I think that worked out pretty well. Maybe go... Well, maybe try centering it better than I did. But maybe go, I don't know, like three millimeters on top, two millimeters on bottom, and then actually get it centered. Might get a little bit better overlap there. Uh, they also probably sell it in pre-cut strips, but I don't know. I think that's a success. What do you guys think?